Hey, what's up guys? Noah here for Aiden from Aiden. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at 3D printing with NinjaFlex. Probably the most important thing to consider is your extruder temperature. We've personally found NinjaFlex extrudes best at 240 C. Printing harder just allows the filament to flow out of the nozzle easier. Whenever we've attempted to print anything lower than that, we've experienced everything from under extrusion to even jamming the feeder. So before even loading the filament, I suggest you adjust the preheat settings on your printer to 240 C. Once the nozzle is nice and hot, then you can use the loading filament option on your 3D printer. But if your 3D printer doesn't have this option, I highly recommend using host software like Octoprint or Astroprint. And you can of course do this with your slicing software such as Cura or Simplify 3D. When loading the filament, it's important to extrude it slowly. I found some machines push out the filament faster than others, and that can cause some pretty bad things. If you start hearing a clicking sound, then it's most likely buckling. This can happen if the stepper motors are extruding too fast. Pushing the filament too quickly can cause the material to bend and just get stuck in the feeder. So extruding hot and slow is really what you want to do. The next important thing to consider is having good bed adhesion. If your 3D printer doesn't have a heated bed, that's okay because surfaces like blue painter's tape, build tack, and printed Z skins work best. For a glass bed, you'll want to heat it up to 50 to 65 C. If you're using PEI sheets, a heated bed with a layer of glue stick will prevent the filament from fusing to the build surface. Ideally, you want to print slow. 30 millimeters a second for the default printing speed works really well. Anything higher than 30 millimeters a second may cause under extrusion and buckling. For the first layer, you'll want to print half that speed to ensure that you get proper bed adhesion. So let's take a look at this part. It was printed at 45 millimeters a second and it suffers from under extrusion. So this has bad layer adhesion on certain features. So here's the same part printed at 30 millimeters a second. The layer adhesion is a lot better and the features are much stronger. So slowing it down definitely makes a huge difference. But if you still find some features are being under extruded, then you might want to disable retraction completely. Most parts printed in NinjaFlex will require some sort of cleanup. This is due to the material oozing out when switching between different features. But not to worry though, it's nothing that you can't fix with uh, flush nips. But if you're still having issues and you find yourself struggling, you can always reach out to the Ninja Tech support team on Twitter or email. And if you guys have any tips and suggestions that we didn't cover in this video, please go ahead and let us know. You can write them down in the comments below. Printing with NinjaFlex can kind of be a bit of an art form in itself, and it can vary from part to part. And if you guys are looking for some cool project ideas, definitely check out our NinjaFlex playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new project videos every week.